Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to run a three-way switch. The three-way switches are going to be this box and this box. It's going to run this light. Power from the panel box will come into this switch box. The switch leg will drop from this light box into this box over here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to run a power wire from a panel box into the first switch box. Alright, <clears throat> then we need to run a wire from this switch box into our light box. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to run a three wire from this switch box to this switch box. So we am just run it through this hole right here, feed the three wire into the box. We leave about a foot of wire sticking out of the box. Then on this side I'm going to run three wire into this box. Again I'm going to leave about a foot sticking out of the wire out of the box. Okay. A couple staples in here to keep my wires in place. Now, code says you need to have a staple within six inches of the box. I'm not really going by codes, but it helps. Staples help keep the wires from jumping around too much. And when you put staples, you want to staple the wire as close to the center of the board as possible so that if you run a screw through your drywall, it won't get, hit the wire. Okay, so in this box, this is going to get a three way switch. I'm going to strip the wire. Wires are not wanting to strip today. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is our ground wires. We're going to wrap our ground wires a couple of times. We're going to use our linesman pliers to make sure that we have a nice tight wrap. Cut off the excess and install our green wire nut. Alright, next thing is our neutral wires. Since the neutral is not needed on this switch, all I have to do is wire nut the two neutral wires together fold them into the box 
Okay, so I got my neutral stuffed in the box. I got my ground wire. Now I got these three wires left. All right, so I'm going to cut them all off about six inches from the box. And I'm going to strip off about three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to put a loop on here. Stick it through the hole just past, turn it to get a nice tight loop on your wire. And also the ground wire. Now, the three way switch. If you look at the back of the three way switch, you can see number one, it has a ground screw, the green one. Then it has two screws that are across from each other, and then it has one more screw by itself. Okay? Now these two right here are the ones from your three wire. You have the black and the red from the three wire. These will always go on these two screws across from each other. Okay? So if I put the black screw the black wire to the gold screw on one side then the red screw will be across from it. In order for a three-way switch to work they have to be that way. Okay, They have to be across from each other. It doesn't matter which side they go on but they have to be across from each other. It's good to get into a habit of always putting one or the other on a certain screw. So get in the habit of putting the red screw on this one over here on the side by itself. If you do that, then you'd always be the same. It'll be important when we get to the other switch to understand why you need to have them across from each other. So I take the other one, which is my switch leg, and attach it to the third screw, and then I attach Stuck. The ground onto the ground screw. Okay, last thing we do is stuff it all into the box. It doesn't matter up or down because it doesn't have anything written on it, so there's no up or down on it. Okay, the other box, the one with the power in it. Well, you're going to strip your wires. You want to try to strip them up into the box as far as you can reach. It makes it easier to stuff the wires into the box when you get done. Make sure you don't cut into the black or the white coating. Once you have all the wires stripped, you're going to start the same process. You're going to start with your grounds, wrap them tight, take your linesman's pliers, nice and tight, cut one of the wires off, cut it to about six inches, install a green wire nut. Then you go to your neutral wires. Six or seven inches from the box, strip them off, three quarters of an inch. Wire nut the two neutral wires together. Stuff them into the box. Alright, so that leaves us our three wires again. Two of them, the black and the red, are the what they call traveler wires. 
and then the other one which will be our power wire. Since our switch leg was over here, our power is in this box. So strip them three quarters of an inch. Turn your loops. All right, now you're going to take your other three-way switch. Again, two that are crossed that are going to get your travelers. The third wire is going to be your, in this case, a hot wire. Okay, now this is why it's important to always put them the same. In order for this circuit to work, this black and red that are out of this traveler have to be on the switch the same way. So if I put the red wire on this screw by itself on this switch, then the red wire from this box also has to be on that same screw. So I have to put it over here on the side by itself in order for this to work. So it goes over there and then its companion traveler goes on the black, the black goes on the gold screw on the other side. So again, they're across from each other. The red is on the side by itself, then its black is straight across from it. The red is on the lug by itself, on the side by itself, and its black is across from it. Okay, that's the only way this will work properly. Then you take your, in this case, power wire, and hook it to the third screw, the black screw in this case. Hook that, and your ground. and fold the wires and stuff them into the box. And that is how you run a three-way switch. Power at one of the switch boxes, switch leg in the other box. All you have to do is strip this and hook your light up to that. And this one will get hooked up into the panel box so it will go on to your breaker. So, three-way switch, Power in one box, switch leg in the other.